Hi, my friends. So, um, I did like a poll not too long ago asking if y'all wanted to hear my little solar event story. And y'all were like, yeah. So, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it. So, in August, like, I had no idea about this event. I, bar I barely learned about it in August, which is still like kind of early, you know. Um, but pretty much what had happened was I had a dream and it was the most vivid most real most astral dream i've had in a while like when i woke up i felt like it definitely happened in a whole another like timeline dimension whatever um and so what was happening was i was driving down south and it's so funny because for like a very long time i was like so scared to like drive down south at a certain time on that same freeway on the five because I was afraid like it was gonna happen without me being home okay so what happened was I was driving south and you know that area on the 5 freeway where you're like um, passing the airport and the planes are like they go over the 5 freeway I was passing that little area and then um, I saw like the sun was in the sky and it was like very white and it was very like it was so white that it was like turning purple and I looked at it and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this isn't good. And then, um, so I'm like, okay, okay, it's okay. Maybe I'll make it home in time because, you know, I need to make sure my children are okay. And so I'm like driving faster and then like the sun keeps getting closer. And I'm like, oh shit, it's happening. This is it. This is what's going on. And I was like, oh, okay. So like the sun's like up in the sky and then it's just like getting closer and closer and closer. And so as I'm like passing that little area where like the planes fly, all of a sudden this this purple sun thing, light, whatever, was like getting very close. And it was like shining like this white light upon everything. And I was like, oh shit, this is really happening right now, fuck. And for a moment I had like a bit of fear because I was like, because I thought about my children because you know like mother's instinct like you need to make sure like your children are okay but then after like I had this reassurance like don't worry like your kids are gonna be okay and you'll be okay and then I was like shit so then I'm driving and then this like flare just like sits on the freeway like on the five freeway and it's like forcing me to drive into it because there's like no other way out and as soon as like that happened, I was like, well, this is it. This is my death and this is how I'm dying. And like, I guess that's okay. Like, I'm not afraid. And I'm like, okay, I hope my children are okay. And then I drive and I just like take a deep breathe in. And then I like drive into it and then I breathe out. And then I wake up like gasping for air. And I'm like, oh my God, holy shit, what the fuck was that? So then I start like looking for answers as to like what could relate to that. What could be like... You know what I mean? Like, cause you, yeah, I know you guys do that too. And I'm just like, that was the weirdest dream ever. And then, so I look it up and it turns out there's like this crazy solar event happening the 21st of December, which is like six, seven days. Yeah, seven days. It's in a week. Okay. And um, I was like, okay. So I start like looking into it and like looking at like people's theories or like, like the astrological aspect the religious aspect um the scientific aspect so according to science it's going to be like this like solar event that happens every like twelve thousand years and it's like the end of like a solar cycle and or yeah really like twelve thousand or something something very long and I was like, okay, that's very weird. That's happening December 21st, 2020. Okay, as if like 2020 wasn't like crazy enough. And I'm just like, okay. So then I start looking like at astrological perspectives and it turns out that's when like Saturn and Uranus, is it Uranus? Or Jupiter? Is it Jupiter? The Jupiter-Saturn conjunction? Honestly, I don't know. Um, but it's one of those Uranus or Jupiter's planets that is aligning with Saturn and um they um are forming like the star of Bethlehem um which like in religious like texts that was like the star that the three kings followed to like gift Jesus baby Jesus like the gifts right um and so that happened last I think 
uh, 600 years ago. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. So like another astrological perspective is that um, the, um, we are exiting finally the age of Pisces. Like we've been transitioning out of the age, age of Pisces for a while. And we are transitioning into finally the age of Aquarius, which is like the new age, right? And so um, that's like finally going like direct on December 21st, 2020. I was like, wow, these are very odd coincidence. Ton of events happening on that day, right? I was like, okay. So I start looking more into it. And then um, I see this like really cool video that I posted. And I'll link it again because it was like really really well put together video like it had like theories it had like explanations it had like maybe ideas like what could happen what might not happen whatever but pretty much it was explaining that we're exiting like a bronze age or i think it's the bronze age and we're actually entering like the true golden age sorry <laughs> and um so that's going to be like the age where like our ancestors prospered back in the day because we think when you know right now we're like so medically and technologically advanced but like there's all these like truths that, that have been hidden from like humanity and in reality we were so much more advanced way long ago um and we actually had access to like free energy we had access to like all information at the like at the thought you know like you could like think about it and like the information will like truth will come into your head um we had like um we were very prosperous there was no need for anybody to work we were just like abundant right um if, if you look at nowadays i don't see us being very like advanced especially when there's still like world hunger and there's still people suffering and you know there's like a lot of consumption we're killing like animals to survive etc but um you know that's just how like our humanity um fell we fell into this uh we fell dimensions and so that's why there um we lost all that technology um when people started ex um experimenting on genetics and that's a whole nother look up the atlantean cataclysm but so this video was saying that we were gonna re-enter into that era of prosperity and abundance like true abundance true like freedom true like peace and i'm really looking forward to that <laughs> so that's like the timeline i've been like channeling and i've been like focused on and anchoring because you know why not you know and so um why when, when i asked like a group of people like what could my dream mean people were like oh shit that sounds like the solar event that's happening december 21st 2020 and that and people are saying oh that's actually the real date that like the Aztec calendar was supposed to end was december 21st 2020 and not 2012 and i'm just like okay <laughs> and this other woman which i resonated with what she said she says she saw the same exact thing except in her dream she woke back up after she went into like the light and there was people that just dropped dead and then there was like some people that had like psychic abilities like to travel anywhere they wanted and think anything and be there and etc they were like telepathic after that i thought that was really interesting so i'm not really sure what it means like it could mean nothing <laughs> it could you know i'm very open to all possibilities um but i will be personally in my life anchoring like a higher timeline a higher uh, dimension a higher way of life and you know communing and actually um channeling abundance and prosperity um for all um and peace you know um but this requires action so i'm here putting forth the action and i hope you all are too and I know it's been like very rough and like I've also had a very rough few weeks but you know we gotta anchor in love and light and you know it's okay to be sad and stuff sometimes um don't fall into the victim victimizer um mentalities because that's what will keep you in this ever never ending loop of like consumption so acknowledge it feel it transmute it and like level the fuck up you feel me so that's what I have to say today 
much love and much light and much abundance and i will see you guys soon